Now let's see, it just perfect right there, okay? And this has to be in the center. Usually, usually I will do some marks. I will put, for example, an X here, a circle here, and over here I will do the same. But I will mark for you what is the center. In this case, 30, 15 is right here in the middle. So here goes the circle and 15 here. Here goes the X. So you will have an X here that will match the X here or the circle here with the circle here. The same for the corners. I always mark for my customers color code or with letters. In this case, I just put it together. But when you get these frames, you will see that they will have, for example, A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. And we will also put, for example, something like in here, front, front, or F, for front, and the same thing on the back. I will put, for example, not the corners because they are marked on the other side, but I will probably put a B, 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 B for the back. You can use this as a front, but sometimes they have a little mark here or there, and I prefer when you put it together to have this because it's more smooth for your painting. Okay, so that will be marked always. So when you put it together, you will find you don't put an A with a C or a D. No, you have A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, or one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Okay, let's put the center bar X with X. And we put this one, two, three. As you can see, it's not perfect. So we knock them down. Same thing here. One, two, three. Perfect. I turn it. Same thing here. One, two, three. One, Three. That's pretty much it for this frame, and you can see depth zero three quarters. It's about three quarters. Now, this is with a heavy duty stapler. If you have a brad nail gun like this, I prefer this. Now, this use brad nails, which is this. Okay, and this machine can be powered by air or by battery. In this case, I have one by battery. I have another one that is powered by the compressor. It's worth two, but for that machine and for this machine, you do have to use gloves, you have to, and Google, because this is so powerful that they stick a nail in there and sometimes it chipped off a little bit of the wood flying off like a projector and you have to have protection for that for sure a hundred percent if Pancho so, has something that belongs to you oh <laughs> my dog Pancho is <laughs> trying to distract me <laughs> okay um. okay so how this is done it's the same way but instead of putting there you have to come to a corner of a table and this has to be in a table. It's very difficult to work on the floor. But if you have a table, you bring it together in the same way I did before, A with A. And let's say that this is not here. The staples are not here. So what do we do? We grab the two boards together and we put the machine here. Take the fingers out far. Googles, push it and nail it. Another one. Another one, and with three is mostly enough, and you don't have to do the staples. Okay, this is this machine. I will do the other frame only with this, and then if you want it, I can put some staples. So let's do the reverse. So you don't need to do both, or you put the staples, or you do the brad nails. This is just a and demonstration. Okay, let me take a close up. Okay. 
perfect. So, so let's see, what do we have here? B, B, A, A, and this has no mark. Yes, it does. D is down here, okay? So I'm going to do the opposite. I will start with this, and then we are going to put some staples just to reverse and show you the procedure. So I will put it here. Remember, you do have to have Googles. You do, because it happened to me sometimes a little piece of board, a little piece of wood fly off and it's dangerous. So I will hold it there together, smooth. Just have a oh, question how much this machine can cost. It can be around $120. <clears throat> So, we hold it there and put our broad nail down. Before it's going to be enough. Huh? Let's do the other edges. B. Let's look for B. That's okay. And the last one. C and D. I'm going to put three there, it's enough. And the last one. If it happened when you end, end put it and you find the, these edges a little bit too sharp, you can sand a little bit, uh, just a little bit, okay? Not not a lot, just a little bit, okay? If you find it a little bit too sharp for your painting, okay? And now this can be done with the Tape as well. Okay. So if I just made this with a brad nail gun, but can be done with the staples, of course it can. You just do the same way that in the three quarters deep depth. So this is 1.5 depth. And you can do the same way. You put one, two, and three in the corners. One, two, and three. I just put it before. Uh, the video that why I say one two three and you just see me put it one. I already put two. One, two, and we put three in each corner. One, two, and three. In each corner. You flip it over and do the same thing. You put one, two per corner. You do have less room than in the other step. One, two, three, and one, two and three okay if uh if a staple stick out too much you better take it out and put a new one instead of just nail it down okay be careful when you take these staples out because they are very very sharp and they can cut you actually i cut myself taking one of those out so be careful use gloves for safety and the center bar has well as before it will have a mark an x and a circle and in here you will have an x and a circle and instead of putting it this way you probably have to put it this way make sure that you flash here because if it's take a little bit off it will be just pushing your painting right so make sure that it's flash there and you can put the staples same in the other end one two probably will be enough this is take out a little bit and just knock it down then you flip it over and we do the same 
there. Remember, if it's too much, you put a little bit of uh, you sand it. And if it's not enough, you put a little shim in there. This one, because I have already assembled the, the stretcher bars, for me it's very easy to mark where it needs to be cut it and cut it. But for you guys, it's, it's, I had to estimate. And I usually estimate pretty close, but I'm sure that it's not perfect. You do have to put either way a little bit of shim or sand with the sandpaper I sent. And if you have a big frame, stretcher bars, what you will need is somebody to help you with the stretching because putting together all of that, you can move around and, and you will be much easier off if you have somebody helping you holding the balls all together. If you don't, well, you have to be more careful, but it can, it can be done. It can be done anyway. Thank you. Bye-bye.